This video will teach you how to draw international soccer star Leo Messi. What the hell is soccer? It's football, you American twit! Oh yeah, sorry about that. I meant international football star Leo Messi. All you have to do is follow my instructions and you'll make a nice crisp drawing. Your drawing will not be messy. Uh, but it will be messy. You're not funny! That's a bloody red card! Let's begin. Step one. We're going to start our drawing with loose shapes that will resemble the body. Your first task is to draw this trapezoid shape. What's a bloody trapezoid? It's that thing you see there. Step two. Add the rectangular shape on top of the trapezoid shape. If you're a real footballer, draw it with your feet. Seriously? Step three. Hey, footballers, did you know if you got rid of the rid in Real Madrid, you get real mad? I don't want you to be mad. Just draw the pentagon that shape. That was bloody horrible. Because it will complete the core of Leo Messi, and this will help you with your drawing. This is madness. No, this is Sparta. Or Kazan M. Step four. Let's start building off of Messi's core. Add the trapezoid on the left and the triangle on the right. Step 5. Draw Messi's leg at the edge of the trapezoid. Step 6. Draw in the other leg. But he's wearing a bloody skirt! No, technically he's wearing a trapezoid, but we'll fix that later. Step 7. Draw in the ball and his sneakers. Step 8. Even though he really doesn't need them, draw in Messi's arms and hands. But he still looks like a Mary. <sighs> All right, fine. Step nine. Let's do something about his pants. You mean trousers. Sure, fine. Whatever. Whatever you want to call them. Draw in his trousers so he could bend it like Beckham. Step ten. Alter the edges of the shirt. Step eleven. Now it's time to draw Leo Messi's head. If that looks small to you, you are absolutely correct. It is just his face. But notice where this oval shape intersects with the pentagon shape. Step 12. Add the hair shape on to the face shape. Step 13. Add the ear shapes. Step 14 is the trickiest step, but it's not that bad. Add the lines for the eyes, nose, and mouth. Do the eye line first. Be sure to notice its relationship with the placement of the ears. After you add the eye line, then add the line for the nose and the mouth. Step 15. Now it's time to draw the eyes. Before you do anything, notice that the top of the pentagon shape lines up with the eye on the right hand side. There are four lines for each eye and each one of these lines is symmetrical to each other. Add those lines now. Step 16. Adjust the bottom of the nose shape. I bloody did it! Good. I'm glad I can help. Please hit the thumbs up button so that you can help me. Now I'm going to help you through the shading part, and it's not as tough as you think. The first thing that I will recommend is to watch this part at least two or three times. I want you to notice the tones, or what is light and what is dark. Notice that the mouth, the eyebrows, and the hair are going to be the darkest part. I'm doing my shading with a method called cross-hatching, which is simply putting line next to line next to line. I supplement this with a blending stump that you'll see in a moment. All this blending stump is is condensed paper and this helps me smudge things. Blending stumps are great for getting neutral tones. After I get the neutral tones I can either add more shading which will darken the tone or use the eraser to create highlights. Be patient when you shade and always use drawing paper because printer paper does not have enough tooth and drawing paper gives you a lot more friction on the surface to work with, which will give you better tones. What the hell is a tooth? Artists call a rough surface 
tooth. Now let's shade the shirt and we're going to keep it nice and simple. I apologize that the camera got out of focus. Uh, I put it on the wrong setting so it will clear itself in a moment. But what you're seeing me do is pretty much the same thing that you saw me do with the face. I did some cross hatching and I mimicked the lines that you see uh, for the folds of the shirt and they're very loose, they're very scribbly. And I am extending those lines with the blending stump. I'm using a paintbrush to get the neutral tones since this is a much bigger area. And uh, once I have that half, uh, half tone or those neutral tones, then I go in with the eraser uh, for the highlights uh, or I add more shading with the pencil tip. I use different pencils with this part and I used a graphite stick which you'll see me use in a moment and basically uh, that gives me uh, a darker tone. But I used a, um, a 4B pencil and I also used a, uh, a 9B graphite stick which is very very dark. Um, I'm trying to get the, uh, the shininess of the uh, jersey uh, by using the eraser and I'm being very very loose with that. You might want to print out the reference image to do the shading of this part and I have a link in the video description if you want to do that. Um, and that'll take you to my website and you can just uh, print the image from there. Uh, so that's one thing that I definitely recommend. One of the good things about doing clothing is you do not have as much pressure on you uh, as you do when you do the face because the face, uh, you know, you need a likeness in order to convince people that it's Leo Messi. But uh, when you're doing the clothing, uh, you don't feel the pressure. Uh, you, can, you can use uh, your own free will on uh, where the folds go, and you could use the reference image as a guide. Uh, you're seeing me essentially repeat the process again with the, um, with the pants, and I, am, I created the half tone, and then I'm going darker and lighter. And it seems very, very simple, but it takes a lot of practice to perfect this. Just know that you can fix things uh, if you make mistakes. It helps if you use actual drawing paper instead of printer paper because it has more tooth, like I said before. Uh, and, um, you know, just keep practicing until, uh, until you get this. Um, you don't want to leave anything too light. You don't want anything to be too dark. Uh, you want it to be balanced. And the final step that you're going to see me do is I'm just punish, putting finishing touches on uh, all around. I'm working on the tones here. And now I have a request. <clears throat> if you think me drawing was smashing, hit the thumbs up button or perhaps give it a favorite. Uh, if me jokes give you shits and giggles, if you could perhaps share it on your Facebook wall. Anyway, thank you for watching the bloody video. And I'm back to normal. Thanks for watching, everybody.